Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to install WordPress locally on your Mac M1. Okay, before we start, um, for people who didn't know what WordPress is, WordPress is a free and open source content management system written in PHP and paired with MySQL. The fact is, out of the top 10 million websites on the internet as of May 2021, 40% of these sites are made of WordPress. So um, if you are a PHP programmer or you like PHP, you should definitely need to learn WordPress. Enough of the chit chat, um, let's dive and install WordPress. So, go to this website, wordpress.org, do not go to wordpress.com, this is different, so this wordpress is only online, so you need to go to wordpress.org. Then, click this get wordpress. Click download and install. Okay. Currently, the latest version is WordPress 5.7.2 version. So if you need a lower version, you can go here on more resources or, or all releases. Click this, you should see all the different versions going down. So let's get back and go back to the latest version. Click this one. Okay, download. Let's save this on the downloads, maybe on the desktop and make a folder WordPress. okay save so the file is 16 mb let's wait okay it's done let's go to the file it's a zip file open this and there it is um, all the files all the PHP files needed for installing WordPress okay so after this um, you need to download mom server to map that info so there's a free download button here click this and download this one MAMP and MAMP. Click this one. And it will go download the MAMP software. Uh, for me, I have installed this one so I don't need to download it again. I will link it below in the description on how to install MAMP. I have a video of it before so check the link below so after you have installed MAMP you will see this icon this one MAMP click this one 
and click start close this one and add okay if after installing mom you can check if it is working okay PG version 7.4 So where will you put the files of the WordPress? You should copy this one folder, copy it and go to applications, search for MAM here, the folder, and search for htdocs, htdocs as the folder where all your sites will be so paste the wordpress folder okay so after pasting the wordpress so for example let's rename this rename this to um like WordPress okay after that um, let's go to PHP my admin so you will see this uh, if you accidentally close this um, tab on your browser you can go back to the mom software and click web start and it will open again so let's click tools the drop down menu and click PHP my admin so we'll need to create our database in order to connect to WordPress so let's go to database and then create a test database Okay, let's create like test db and create. Okay, so we have created test db and create um, a user. So let's create a user. Let's create test user so you can rename this with any name you want and then choose local local host and let's just put the password password but don't password as password on your production sites I'm just testing it and then check this one check all and click go okay so we have created the user which will be connected in our test db so let's go back to so let's go back and check our site our site is hosted inside this folder test wordpress so to navigate this one on your browser let's create Open it on this address localhost con eight 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 slash test wordpress. 
Okay. So this test WordPress is your test WordPress here on HD Docs. So let's go back. Um, this is the installation page of WordPress. So let's click English, click continue. So it's looking for a database name, username and password and your host. Okay, click let's go. Our database name is, go back here, is TestDB. And our username is test user. With the password of password. So just a reminder, don't use this password as your password. And your database host is localhost. Click submit. Okay. All right. So let's run the installation. Okay. So let's put a title of on your WordPress site. Let's see test WordPress site. You can rename this once installed. And let's add a username for the WordPress site. This username and password is different from the MySQL username password. So this is for WordPress on logging in on your WordPress site. So for now, let's just put admin as username and admin as password. And add your email. Email, yes. Okay. You can check this if you want or you can uncheck it. Okay. Click install. And voila. Success. Um, the WordPress site is now installed. You can now log in. You can see we have created admin admin as our login. Okay. We have installed WordPress. Okay, so from here you have installed WordPress. Um, you can see here, you can add posts, media, pages, comments, appearances, plugins, you can add users, and all, this, all those different things that you can add locally. You can do this also um, uh, when you have published the site. But for now, we'll end it here and let's wrap our WordPress installation for Mac M1. Okay, bye-bye. Peace. Go.